a, a small percentage only um, yeah. probably less than five percent okay the the cancer that the genetic risk is actually the that means the patient must carry a certain gene and we know the gene called brca the BRCA gene which is seen in ovarian cancer breast cancer uh, this group of family with the BRCA gene they also have a high risk higher risk of getting prostate cancer yeah so so it is possible to pass down the risk to the children yeah oh, okay so um okay normally in in our normal a normal person before you get cancer our body immune cells can can kill off um, damaged cells that means before they become cancer okay uh, but unfortunately we don't know why um, some people just cannot fight this okay so that is why the immunotherapy that is used nowadays in, in a lot of cancers they are supposed to be injected into the body and that medicine can help the body immune cell to recognize the cancer and fight it yeah so that is uh, one of the treatment uh, for western medicine okay if let's say no medicine um i think generally is if before someone get cancer is just to have a healthy lifestyle um exercise all these can help to um just general immunity uh, yeah <music> depends on the cancer type you know because oh, okay. yeah because like for example in prostate cancer um, hormone therapy is the most effective for mm. first line hormone therapy okay but let's say in lung cancer uh, lung cancer then it depends some cases the uh, targeted therapy is very useful if they have a gene mutation okay but if not then immunotherapy and chemotherapy will be useful so it really depends on the different types of cancer. Yeah. Oh, okay. So um, this is for any cancer, yes, yeah, but not yes. no particular cancer. Okay. Um, um, I mean, generally speaking, if uh, cancer is discovered at a early stage, like stage one, early stage, stage one or two most of the time for that cancer it will be surgery okay then sometimes after surgery they take out then they find that the cancer is uh, quite big or the the stage becomes a higher stage like three or something then then they will be advised to do chemotherapy uh, because chemotherapy is actually a drug injected to the whole body is supposed to be go to the whole body to kill small little cancer cells but surgery is to take out that spot that you see in the space mm. uh. yeah nowadays actually a lot of times it's a it's a combination uh. a lot of times it's combined treatment i see a large prostate is more common than cancer in old people so the enlarged prostate is benign it doesn't change to cancer jangan lupa like dan subscribe